Hello and welcome back to Elder Kings. So, our big goal this time, I think, is probably to switch our focus. Now, we do have uh, a lot of threat to burn off, so we've got some time. We've been on the business focus for a while, but I feel our money issues are gone. Now, if I lower our stewardship, we are going to be below our domain size, which is an issue. But I think it is time to switch to something else, because we, we don't need to be stressed anymore, which lowers our stewardship anyway. So, if we're permanent, let's just say, if we're permanently stressed, which lowers our stewardship by one, if we switch from business, it lowers our stewardship by two, but it means that we don't have this uh, permanent stress on us. So that will hopefully help out a little bit. Also means that we have less chances of dropping dead, which is very nice. Uh, what do we want to switch to? Well, I don't really want to switch to family, because I don't care about the health, and the fertility doesn't bother me. We have enough children. I don't want to switch to carousing, because that involves me having to find people each time I want to use it. War is okay, but we don't really need the marshal right now. Uh, hunting is kind of... I don't care about the health or the marshal. Seduction involves a lot of effort in terms of setting up, as in it involves a lot of finding people who it's useful to seduce and doing all of that sort of stuff. And I want to avoid that, because basically we want time to move forward while we're doing this so we can get the threat going and that... Involves a lot of stopping time for events. Uh, kind of same with intrigue. It means it's kind of scholarship or or um, or theology. We've already done. Sorry, we haven't already done theology, but theology has health, so I'm going to avoid that again. Which means that it's uh, scholarship. That's that's my logic for that. Uh, may or may not be a good logic, but that's my logic for that. Right. Let's so unpause. Now, can we build an observatory? We can indeed. Right there, we go. That's kind of the main event line in this one, anyway. Here, uh, spend gold, lower revolt risk. I like it. Seems good to me. I think that was some buildings finishing that little noise. Uh, this guy would like a defensive pact. No, because we're coming to conquer your land soon. And I really don't want a defensive pact for someone who I want to conquer. We can rank up to Master Wizard. Definitely, yeah. My observatory is finished. I think I heard the sound of somebody dying. That was my marshal. Uh, we can put in a new marshal. Uh, who do we want? We could put in this guy, potentially. Or we could just put in the absolute best person that we have. It does mean that we lose the commander, but we gain the ability for him to make new commanders. Do we have any of these guys that are bad commanders? This guy's infirm. Uh, but that doesn't add... Does that make him... A bad commander? I don't think so. This guy's got experimentality. I don't really like that as a, for a commander, so we're going to stick him on there. He can organize the army, and that's fine. Uh, also, I should probably be uh, getting some money over here, opposed to just leaving him on uh, a minister realm. Right, there we go. Anything else we want to do here? Uh, we want to select a new commander, who's going to be that one. There we go. On pause. Right, we have advanced to Master Wizard. What does that mean? Uh, it means that temples build quicker, which I guess is cool. I don't think we can actually get to this uh, one, to the Archmage position, because there's already an Archmage. If I look at all the members of the guild, which there are a lot of, there's only a few... There's a, there are a few Master Wizards, but I was just wondering whether we could kill them and then just become Master Wizard. I don't know. Maybe. This guy's been a wizard for a long time, though. I just noticed he is a human who is also... 3,466 years old? Oh. Okay. He's immortal. I see. Uh, how did that happen? That seems odd. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm guessing he's a character in lore, would be my guess. Uh... Not a lot of chance of killing him. He probably has a very high long reign uh, bonus there. And he probably has a lot of wives. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's on number 5. Actually, that's kind of low if you think about it for 3,466 years. But whatever. Uh, more buildings are finishing. Uh, I'm going to say no to that one. Actually, I just noticed we haven't... We've switched off business focus, but we actually still have the same amount of domain. Which is good, because uh, we want to be able to hold all those provinces. Right. Just unpause. How I said we had some plague. We do have some plague. It's in our capital. Well, I guess I'll shut the gates then. It's alright, we'll avoid that plague. Just a little bit. 
Right. Um, pause. And when it gets away, then that's fine. Uh, your steward wants to talk about the old tunnels under the castle. The argument is that it should be maintained better now that times are rough. You never know when you'll need to get out and quickly. Uh, yeah, what a splendid idea. Uh, I'm going to hire the fighters guild to get rid of skeevers. My liege, I fain uh, Organum catches up with you as you're strolling down the main hall. He looks concerned and you order him to spit it out, whatever the news is. The tunnels, my lady. He breathes in and continues to tell you that someone's been using them. The guards have stumbled upon tools and torches, recently used by the looks of it. Um, well you know what, this is a great opportunity for an ambush. We'll catch anyone sneaking in or out. Okay, we've uh, lost some gold for the skeevers, but that's fine, they're gone. You have spent many nights looking at the celestial bodies and your observatory is truly fascinating. There are so many questions to ask. Um, what do I want to ask? How do the moons move in Mundus or what secrets does Oblivion hold? How about how do the mo moons move about in Mundus? We're not really interested in Oblivion right now. Uh, your guards have captured someone in the tunnels. However, the person does not appear to be completely stable. Your guards' faces uh, are not showing the usual bloodthirst when they present... Aichesius the Handsome, a starved-looking and oddly jumpy person. Well, um, let's hear what he has to say for himself. You approach the locked door warily. Inside, Aichesius is uh, talking quietly to himself. The guards tell you that he claimed to have a lover at court. They were on the way back into the castle when his beloved fell ill. Devastated from the loss, he remained in the tunnels. He doesn't seem all there, my lady. Well, um, you know what? Uh, I don't think I can risk it. I think he has to go. Yeah. He cannot be allowed to stay here. He has definitely uh, got that illness. We'll send him out. You know, he's lucky. Usually we just execute people no matter what. I mean, even if they haven't really done a crime. Uh, I tried to get a good night's sleep, but I'm tormented by horrible recurring nightmares of our people. The pleas for help and hurtful words are beginning to get to me. Well, I, I do want to survive, so I guess we're depressed again. Well, there, that's just the way it goes, isn't it? Someone's declaring an internal war. My daughter is declaring on elsewhere. Ah, okay. So, yes. Um, oh, she looks like she will win. But she has a lot less provinces, but a lot more troops. But she should she should win that one, nice and easily. Uh, I'm waiting till we have a little bit more money and we'll just build in a giant, uh, like, block. Observing the movements of the moons at night, you've begun to see some regular patterns. These observations, however, have raised many new questions. You're starting to wonder, for example, what exactly the various phases represent. Interesting. Get some military tech points. Right. Continue rolling in cash. When it gets to about 1,500, we'll just do a huge build. Um, the research you conduct in your observatory at night is proving deeply fascinating. You can push your studies further, but you need to purchase more equipment for it to be meaningful. Um, yeah, I must move forward. Yeah, we'll purchase some equipment. That's fine. Right. Uh, someone's usurped a title. I think that's internal again. Most of these are internal. Um, the peasants of Veselon are having frequent trouble with highwaymen. Well, I'll pay some money and lower the revolt risk. After spending lots of time with few people, you've been positively surprised by Sigwin. During this difficult time, you've gotten to know and understand her well. In many ways, she compliments you nicely and you have a good time together. Well, if only she wasn't following that awful religion. Yeah, convert. Exactly. Follow my religion instead. Perfect. That works for me. Right, uh, got about another 200. Do we need to go and uh, build again? Our threat has dropped very quickly. This mod does run very, very nicely. It's fantastic. Yeah. Means that defensive packs actually don't even feel that bad because uh, the threat burns off super uh, quickly. Anyway, uh, your nightly studies of movements of the celestial bodies are increasing your knowledge of a great many things. You feel that you're getting closer to understanding the universe. Well, that's good. Yeah, more military tech points. Absolutely fantastic. What can we do with those? Uh, nothing really right now, but soon maybe we'll do something. I do like the thought though that we're basically just hiding in our. Uh, like in our castle, in our tower, and just looking out at the night sky while all around us are peasants who are just dying of the plague. Kind of an interesting uh, thing there. Ooh, we could probably open the gates again. Uh, yeah, let's go open the gates. That's fine. Perfect. 
Working in your observatory lately, you are frustrated by the broken equipment, weeks on end of cloudy weather and frequent interruptions by curious intruders and even animals. It's very hard to maintain concentration and get anything done. Um, yeah, well, persist. The uh, truth is out there. Definitely. Ooh, do you want me to spend some money for some cultural tech points? Yes, definitely. That sounds good. Also, I forgot to build when I exactly when I said I'd build. Um... Let's see which one of these we want to go for. Is it not one of these that lowers uh, its tolerance? Is what I was looking for, but we can't invest in that yet. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's get some building done. So, Rosefield, our capital. Gonna get uh, one of these, probably. Seeing if we have anything really cheap. Now, nah, we'll go for the next level up. Some light calf. Duskwood. We'll get some... Oh, we'll get the small ha uh, small hall, increase the modifier on that one. Vesalon. Uh, we'll get the small hut, again increasing the modifier. Thorwood. Um, let's get one of these ones that gives us more cash. Old maple, same kind of thing. Um, although we don't have anything that gets us cash here, so I guess we'll get some troops. Uh, this one in Courtwald. We'll grab some, yeah, some heavy infantry. That's okay. And Foxland. We'll grab some more cash. And then in the one that I have no idea how to pronounce, but that's like our Tumingard. We'll grab a small town hall for more cash. Nice, good. And that was actually pretty much exactly the right amount of money. Yeah, that's where I like things to be. Right, uh, anything else we need to do? Nope, not gonna read the Accords Madness. Definitely not. Again, our, um, Arch Curator has come to us as a, uh, lycanthrope. Dear Empiriax Valley of the Old Merry Dominion, I've been told you were becoming too absorbed in studying the moons. Rather than relying on your on the teachings of the Finaster, I'm certain that such rumours are only slander and that you would never do such a thing. If it were true, however, I would be most disappointed. In the name of the Thynaster, Arch Curator, Relistil the Second. Um, we can tell him to stare at my business, and it's best to answer his silence, or I'll knock, uh, I will not challenge conventional wisdom. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna tell him to stare at my business. You're a werewolf. I think, you know, I, the people who can tell me where, where we've gone wrong, I think. Anyway, my point is, you know. We really shouldn't be listening to somebody who's managed to turn themselves into a werewolf. He's not really got any religious uh, authority anymore. He's kind of lost a little bit of that. Right, stay at my business. We also gained Brave, which is nice. Uh, did we already have Brave? I think we might already have had Brave, actually. Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah, so we just gained Brave. That's, that's a good one to get. Very good. All right. It, most of our buildings are done. Uh, yeah, we will teach some people about self-defense. We're teaching them about illusion. And we got 10 gold for it. Nice. Okay, how's our threat looking? It's at 80%, but that's okay. It's actually uh, burning off fairly quickly. Your studies of the celestial spheres are progressing well. You see movements and relations you'd never dared guess at. It seems clear to you now that laws that guide the movements of the Masser and Secunder must have profound effects on the state of Nurn in some way. And what is Nurn? Well... It's one learning and a hundred uh, military tech points getting us closer to that next military organization one. Wayrest would like a non-aggression pact. Who are Wayrest? Oh yeah, wonderful idea. They're far enough away that I'm not going to attack them and they're close enough that they'll be in a defensive pact. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Uh, lots of peasants have been moving into Rosefield lately. Your steward uh, suggests building new roads. Yeah, build some new roads. That sounds good. Uh, continue getting more cash in. We're about halfway to the next building. Uh, we can claim some lands from Wayrest. Wait, is that actually a, a war that we can declare on Wayrest now? That's perfect, right? Yeah, after getting a non-aggression pact, it's then like, here's a war you could do. Uh, my friend, I write to you with bad news. Uh, I've raised the revolt risk. Well, you know, it's not great news, honestly. Can we ask him at any point to convert? We could, but opinion has to be 80 or higher. You get 25 with a large gift. It's a long way off 80. 
Anything that he's not happy about in particular right now? Just a sort of title and that will actually go away in a uh, hundred years, which isn't impossible to be getting around to. Um, you are sure you've made a breakthrough in your studies, yet it cannot be otherwise. You are, you have been able to construct a makeshift orrery, which you are positive can harvest some small uh, sliver of the power of the moons and their phases. So I can publish my findings, at which point a lot of people won't like me. I continue my secret, my studies in secret. I'll stop with this achievement, or that's the Daedra speaking. Um, you know what? I'll continue. I'll continue my studies in secret. I don't know where this one leads. I do remember that when I was doing the previous Elder King series, we spammed that event line non-stop, and basically we did that so we could get uh, zealous. And what that did is that allowed us to then get the Holy War CB, which would then allow us to take some land, and yeah, it was a whole thing. But luckily, we don't need to do that right now. We still have the Warlord CB, and conquering is fairly easy. Also, we get to live a long time as an elf, so we don't tend to need to uh, find a quick way of getting a good CB on our character. We have a lot of time to uh, get that kind of thing set up. Anyway, uh, we have a better commander. Fantastic. We're now up at 20 Marshall. We inherited the barony of Topal once again. Well, I'll just give it to the uh, oldest elf. There we go. You're 301. Please enjoy the barony of Topal. Right. Continuing on. Those are the buildings all finished, or the last set of buildings. According to this chancellor, the peasants have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance. Yeah, that's good. We'll support that. Um, do we have any good CBs over here? Just want to check. Nope, still have the conquest, and that's probably what we're going to do until we get the Warlord uh, CB. My food has tasted strange lately. Well, I'll ask my friend to uh, have a look. Um, My friend agreed with me that the food tasted strange, but wasn't certain someone was trying to poison me. I gave them permission to talk and interrogate whoever in the so saw fit, and the cook was using rancid meat once again. Well, that's not good, but... Uh, our intrigue went up again, which is nice. I think all of, pretty much all of our intriguers from that event, which is interesting. I could not help but overhear the stable master and the courtier's animated discussion. Something about a horse and a payment due today, but the courtier insisted on paying the stable master later this week. I should interfere. I settled the matter between Kinlord Sorklin II and my stable master. I tried to be as just as I could, but they still won't speak to each other. Oh well, not my problem. Uh, invite to plot, not interested. Right. Uh, ooh, they want me to make them a warding amulet or ring. We can do that. Right. We have, in fact, done that. We're just about to hit the right amount of cash. That's my husband has made an alliance with my son. Not unexpected, really. Uh, it's actually kind of weird it took this long. Anyway. We now have a thousand. Time to start building again. So, Rosefield. We'll start building here. We'll grab ourselves a something. Um, retinue size. Ooh, that's actually a good one. Yeah. Uh, Duskwood. We'll grab ourselves Barracks, the next level. Vesalon. Um, anything in here looking amazing? Heavy infantry is pretty good. Thorwood. We will get ourselves a little bit more tax. Actually, these ones probably give us a better ratio. We'll go for the cheaper tax. Old Maple. Um, any of these very cheap? Not really. We'll get Riders Quarters, that's probably the cheapest. Uh, Courtwald. Any of those? Yeah, any of those, it really doesn't matter. Foxland. Continue getting some tax income. Are there any cheaper ones that perhaps don't uh, completely bankrupt us? Not really. I think that might be the... L oh no, there's a fort level one that's slightly cheaper. Uh, yeah, we'll grab that one. And then... Artemgum. Ar 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 Artemgard. That's it. Uh, we'll grab ourselves tax income. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's keep going. Threat is now down to 73%. Perfect. Now, there is the question of whether we just let our threat burn all the way down to zero. It depends how much land we're going to take, really. I think we might want to let it burn to zero. Uh, do you want non-aggression pact with Ravenstead? Yes, definitely. They're far enough away. Uh, but I think we want to let that burn down to zero because... Oh, maybe what we'll do 
as we'll do conquest but we won't do any large wars until it drops down to zero and my logic is basically that will allow us to get rid of all the defensive packs and when we do a larger war we won't instantly have a defensive pact with everyone we can do a couple larger wars at once yeah and that'll probably allow us to take all of that land at once if we do it right we'll see we'll see anyway all of our buildings are pretty much done already perfect somebody reveal uh someone received a beautiful new vardenfell snapper yep duskwoods one is about to finish a ma member of the mages guild was caught and killed uh, we will obviously invest in cultural tech points. Now, I was just thinking. We have reached as high as we can in this society. It might be time to change. Yeah, you know what? We'll change society next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.